I'm Justin Davis, and today you're going to learn how to fly an RC airplane in 2023. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Justin Davis. I've been flying RC airplanes since I was a kid, and now I'm in my 40s, but I'm here today to teach you how to fly an RC airplane. And the plane we have today is the FMS Ranger. We're gonna fly it here, we're gonna land it, we're gonna take off, we're gonna do some basic flying, we're gonna teach you about the radio, and we're also gonna do some mild aerobatics as well. And for fun, I'm gonna show you how to set up an FPV system on your RC airplane. So without further ado, let's get right into the flying with the FMS Ranger on a 2S battery. We're gonna have some fun. Here we go. So once the plane is powered on and your radio's on, we wanna do a surface check. You wanna make sure that everything, all the surfaces, meaning the ailerons, the rudder, and the elevator are all moving the right direction according to the sticks of your transmitter. So first thing we always check is the aileron. So when you push left, it should go up on that side. You can see it over here going up on the left side of the wing here. When I push right on the stick, you should see the right side go up like that. Back to center should be everything nice and level before takeoff. Make sure that all your surfaces are level all the way across when the stick is centered. Also for the elevator, let's go ahead and push down and you'll see that elevator moves up right there, up. And when I go back to center, it should be nice and level. When I push forward, that should give me down elevator that service should move down. So when I press down, it should go up. When I press up, it should go down. You see that? Up, down. Now for the rudder, that's on the left stick here. We're gonna go to the left. That should move left, right. So the vertical stabilizer has your rudder on there. And now we should be good to go. We'll do a throttle check before we take off as we're taxiing. Got some throttle. So we're probably gonna have to have a little bit of trim in this once we get up because we are flying it manual today we have no stabilization this is pure rc airplane goodness right here old school but you can put stabilizer on here if you want to but we're just going to go ahead and do a takeoff we're going to take off into the wind if you're flying an rc airplane you definitely want to take off into the wind so here we go we're going to take a little uh, sketchy take off hopefully not too sketchy but we'll try to trim it in pretty quickly here and hopefully I don't hit anything's hard or solid lots of hard stuff down uh, into this runway so I'm gonna get a little more a uh, little more lined up let's just turn around a little bit go back down a little bit I love taxiing these tricycle landing gear around that front nose cone up there or the front wheel is steerable so I'm gonna go ahead and get lined up give it a good amount of throttle here Pull up in that elevator and there she's up, you guys. So right away I'm noticing that it is a slow flyer. I want to keep that throttle up so it doesn't stall out because these little Cessnas will uh, stall out on you pretty pretty easily. Let me get a little up elevator in the turn. And man, she's quiet. I haven't really feeling right now I'm not feeling like I have to do a lot of trim, which is kind of amazing or maiden flight right there she's almost got zero airspeed and so you got to watch out for that with these little Cessna style wings it's kind of a short clipped wing so uh, it will definitely barrel roll on you let's just test out a little bit of uh, higher three speed throttle gonna go up to about 80% throttle see how it behaves see if there's any kind of uh, weird bouncing with that wing it seems to be good it seems to be kind of rolling to my right a little bit so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of uh, left trim to kind of equalize that out I want that plane to be flying nice and solid straight ahead in a headwind once it's trimmed out it should fly nice and level if I kind of let go of that right aileron stick so she's just cruising right now got to watch out for light poles for sure I'm gonna walk out in the field here a little bit we'll do some low flybys Man, that, that low throttle is impressive on such a small plane. Seriously. So next up, we're going to try to do some FPV on this plane, or I'll put a camera on there, give you some kind of onboard footage, which I think would be super cool. And I want to get it up a little bit higher here to, uh, to get some more uh, trim put into this aileron here. So I'm just giving a little more left trim and she's still kind of dragging to the right a little bit. 
that's going to take some practice to be able to trim while you're flying. So if you have a buddy to kind of help you out, that helps out. If you've been flying for years, you probably already know how to do it. All right, now that she feels pretty trimmed out, if you let go of that stick, again, your wing should be kind of level. So we're just gonna let go of that stick, look where she goes. She's still really peeling out to the right. So if that happens to you with your plane, my best recommendation first is to make sure your wings are level um, mechanically. And mechanical trim is just basically when you're moving the servo to be level with the wing, okay? So letting off the throttle a little bit, coming back around. There's a little bit of turbulence up there, but not bad, man. This thing is a really good flyer. So FMS Ranger, man, representing almost zero airspeed right there. Nose into the wind, man. Look how slow that plane goes. That is pretty cool. Low to the ground RC airplane flying is a lot of fun. Sketchy, but a lot of fun. And I could put some rudder into it. Kind of take a little tighter turn here. Kind of pass the control tower. That is super fun. So yeah, uh, smooth flyer. I haven't had to do a ton of trim. Got to watch those turns. Get a little elevator in your turn. That's going to help you out a lot when you're making a turn. Keep that nose up. Keep that nose up nice and level. And eventually you're going to start putting some elevator, ele you know, uh, a rudder and aileron into your turns when you become a more experienced pilot. But start off with, you know, a little over half throttle with this plane. That's where this plane likes to be to keep the nose up. And if it starts climbing a lot, that means you can back off the throttle a little bit. And try not to fly over yourself like I just did because that can get you confused as a new pilot. And I, I, love, I love RC airplanes because you have the versatility of now being able to incorporate some FPV into it. And that just like, changes everything it kind of puts you in pilot's perspective so now that i feel like it's flying pretty good i'm going to try to go up and do a barrel roll full throttle here and she's up and over and around great very nice it did a big slow roll so i have a little bit of expo in my control so in your radio if you're running like a tx16 i have just a spectrum receiver on here because it's a park flyer and it's bound up to my TX-16. So you do have DSM support inside the Form 1 version of this radio, which is great. It's super cool. You can bind up any Spectrum receivers with DSM on it. Or if you have an orange receiver, you can even run FR Sky receivers, Free Sky. You can run Fly Sky. Pretty much any type of receiver out there for an RC airplane, as long as it's PWM. PWM just allows you to put servos it has servo pins on it instead of s bus but it also has an s bus lead coming off this flight controller that's on this plane and again you can hook up the flight controller on here and when you let go of the sticks it's going to auto stabilize so for brand new guys that are trying to learn how to fly rc airplane this is great for you because you don't have to fly it totally manual like i am here but flying it manual you're gonna crash more if you're a brand new pilot. So I would definitely recommend a little bit of stabilization assistance with the flight controller that's already on this plane. But look at that, man, it is slowing way down. That is a fun plane. I wanna go up, get some altitude now. I'm full throttle, I'm gonna try to do a loop. I'm gonna bail if it doesn't happen, but man, that's awesome, it did a loop, you guys. Little trainer plane, it's got aerobatics, it's got smooth flying. And it's only on a 2S battery. That's freaking cool. So we got a 2S 900 milliamp battery in here. I'm expecting, you know, eight, nine, 10 minutes flight time. And I could probably come down and land it in the grass, but I don't have my rear wheels locked down with um, the hardware that it came with. So I think my rear wheels might come, might possibly come off if I hit the grass. But listen how quiet it is. No Karens are out today looking for this plane. The minivans are not circling me. Angry moms. Is there a camera on that? Probably. Usually I tell people there's two cameras on it. Yeah, there's one for FPV and one recording you in 5K resolution for my police report of this angry lady attacking me. 
I'm just kidding. I've, you know, I've never really been harassed myself. I know some of you guys have. Make a comment in the video if you've been harassed by a Karen. But I haven't, luckily. Knock on wood. Knock on... Knock on wood for that. Man, that plane looks cool. So let's go ahead and come in for a landing. Maybe we'll try to land on the concrete before my battery dies out and I have to crash land. Um, it's always a good idea to land early. Uh, let's see if we can do a concrete landing. And again, I'm going to kind of land nose into the wind. I'm going to try to walk backwards and not trip over the fence behind me here. Here we go. Coming around. And a lot of the old timers always told me, Justin, land long and low. So we're going to try to land long and low here in the parking lot. And we're going to do some FPV after this landing, attempted landing. They always call, in, in real life aviation, they call a landing an approach. So we're going to make an approach. That means that we're going to, we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to kill that throttle, keep that nose up. And there we are. We're on the ground, guys. Tricycle landing gear is intact. And taxiing back over here. And let's go ahead and attempt to do some FPV. If that doesn't work out, hopefully you enjoyed this flight test. We'll see if uh, we can hook up some DJI FPV on the FMS Ranger. Here we go. If you want to add FPV to your RC airplane, there are a few ways you can do it. This is an HD system from DJI with a run cam FPV camera on here and a Cadex Vista. It has a link antenna here as well, XT30 to a 2S 450 milliamp battery. And you can also do a 3S battery, I believe, on the Vista if you want to. But we're trying to keep it light today and hopefully this system will take off. The cheaper way to do this is to do it an analog system. There is an analog FPV goggles you can get, which is much cheaper than DJI. Today we're flying the DJI Goggles 2 on this setup, and I'll show you that after the maiden flight test. So today you're gonna to watch the maiden flight test as well, which you might have already done, but at this point, we're gonna do some FPV as well, and hopefully this plane has enough horsepower to take off with this extra additional weight. And you wanna kinda of keep your FPV system as far forward past the center of the wing as possible to give it kind of that forward CG on this plane. So uh, better to be a little bit nose heavy than tail heavy on any RC airplane. Okay guys, let's go ahead and do our first takeoff. Pull back on the elevator, give it about half throttle to three quarter throttle for this plane to take off. Once you're up in the air, move the stick a little bit forward and level out the nose. You wanna keep this nose just up enough with the throttle that you're flying straight across the sky. And right now you should be flying in line of sight. Work your ailerons left and right, kind of gently giving it some input left and right. If you give it a lot of input, this is where a lot of beginners can get in trouble. They oversteer and that can be a huge problem when flying an RC airplane. Um, not so much on RC cars, but when you move up from like playing around with surface vehicles to flying in the air, that's where we really need to fly a little smoother and be really gentle on the sticks. Even for the throttle, I've seen people kind of freak out in situations and push too much throttle and also get themselves in trouble. Another tip is giving it too little throttle. So that can also get you in trouble and have the plane come to a stall and fall to the ground. And this particular plane, right now I'm trying to fly through this goalpost and we get our first durability test right here. Okay guys, that's what's fun about an RC airplane that's made of EPO foam because, well, when you crash it into a goalpost, a little bit of hot glue and you're back up in the air. Okay guys, here we go again. I am your flight instructor. Let's go ahead and take off for a second flight after our repair. If you're gonna repair foam EPO on a plane, you can use foam safe glue to do that. You can also get foam filler. If you're missing some chunks and things like that, sand it back down and you'll have a nice level surface again on your airplane. I used low temperature hot glue today. So if you're repairing your RC airplane with a foam body, make sure you use low temp hot glue, not high temp, because it will actually melt and put a huge hole in your RC airplane if you use high temp hot glue. So here we're back up in the air and line of sight. I can't say enough about practicing line of sight first before you do FPV. And today we have the Insta360 GO on here. This is the GO 2 recording this flight. 
and for some reason our FPV systems wasn't quite working out, but I wanted to give you that FPV perspective anyway. And do you guys think we should try out that goalpost again? I'm a big fan of trying things again after I didn't succeed the first time around. And sometimes with RC, I may be a glutton for punishment. So I think I'm gonna line this back up again. And I think we need to try out some slow flying with this FMS Ranger because I, I think it's a good slow flyer and, and tech, technically these type of aircraft, they do have a slow stall point, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. This time me standing right there in the goal post and I've made it back through that time, you guys. But this is an example of, I'm just a few feet off the ground with this plane at about 50% throttle right here and making that turn, using some rudder and back through the goal post again, making another pass. So that's the greatest thing about RC is that you crash, you rebuild it, and you go back out again, and you try again, and that is making me feel great. So RC will really make you feel good, and especially when you can make a successful landing and end up back on the ground. It's a Christmas miracle that these things can fly and get back to the ground. So I am super happy right now, I'm victorious. If you like dark tutorials, please do subscribe on the channel and I would appreciate you hanging out with us and all the RC videos. See you on the next one.